Okay, there's a little chill. I'm going to make a cup of tea. All right. Thank you. If you're new to RVing and considering a motorhome, the easiest way to find a propane tank, just look for the outside compartment door that doesn't have a lock on it. It will usually be on the passenger side. The reason it doesn't have a lock on it is the tank needs to be accessible just in case of an emergency so the gas can be turned off. Now, the propane tank on most motorhomes is not like the tanks that are on other campers or barbecue grills. These tanks are actually the ASME type tanks, and all that means is they've been approved by the American Society for Mechanical Engineers but it also means that they are permanently mounted to the frame. So if you run out of propane, you have to drive to go get some or the propane has to come to you. <laughs> These are not removable. And speaking of needing propane, check out the gauge. Sure, I don't have it. It's no wonder the stove wouldn't light. Now, in case you're wondering what the rest of the things are here on the tank, right here is the fill port, which is where the propane gets filled into the tank. Now, propane tanks can only be filled to 80%. The other 20% is there for expansion due to temperature change. Next to that would be the bleed valve. This valve needs to be open while the tank's being filled. And once fluid starts spraying out of it, the tank is full. Below that is the open and close valve. What that does is, well, it opens and closes the tank. It allows the propane to come out and go into the two-stage regulator, which is located under this cover. Now the cover is here to protect the regulator. Do you want to see what the regulator looks like? There you go. <laughs> what a two-stage regulator does is it's designed to take the high pressure that's coming out of the propane tank and lowering it to a pressure that the appliances inside the RV can use. That pretty much wraps it up for you out here, so let's go tell Cheryl that we're out of propane we need to take a drive. So we're on our way to go fill our propane tank. Woohoo! We are here at the propane filling station, and just so you know, a gallon of propane weighs 4.2 pounds. The tank on our rig is a 56 pound propane tank. Yeah, you see how it's spraying out white? Yeah. It means it's full. All right, we now have a full tank. Now, last thing we're gonna to need to do is purge any air from the system. So you do that by just turning on the burner and then trying to light it. Yep, oh, and there you go. So let me put this tea kettle on for Cheryl. And there you go. We hope you enjoyed our basic introduction to the propane system on an RV. And if you liked what you saw, we'd appreciate that thumbs up. <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. It's always right there, down there in the corner, always. And feel free to comment and share this video with anyone you want. Because until we introduce you to something else in the RV, the end. The end.